and welcome back to this channel. In this video, we're still in chapter admin. We are going to discuss about the boiling point and also the solubility of admin in this video. Let's start with the solubility. Like we discussed before, solubility always depends on the type of intermolecular force between the solute and the solvent. If they have same type of intermolecular force, basically means that they are soluble in each other. So then how the solubility effect basically will depend on the hydrophobic area and also hydrophilic area. So for the hydrophobic area, normally we will relate with the molecular size. Amine consists of amino group and then in the amino group there is hydrogen bonded to nitrogen. This makes the amine has the possibility to form hydrogen bond with water like this. This is the hydrogen bond. So over here also can form hydrogen bond. So in general, we will say that amine able to soluble in water because can form hydrogen bond with water. However, the solubility of the amine will be decreasing when the molecular size is increased. Like we mentioned before this, when we mentioned about relate with the molecular size, we can use the term hydrophobic area. So here we have primary, secondary, and tertiary amine. Among all these class of amine, based on here, you can see that primary amine is the most soluble compared to secondary and tertiary amine because they can form more hydrogen bond with water. Due to primary amine have more hydrogen atom. However, tertiary amine is the least uh, soluble in water due to the alkyl group. So, and then this alkyl group will have the steric hydrants, make it difficult to form hydrogen bond with water. Okay, let's continue with tutorial question number 4 and compare the solubility of trimethylamine and methylamine in water and then we need to roughly explain. So before we can compare, we must draw the structure uh, amine. So we know there is nitrogen and then with three single bond. So because of tri means that all the three bond will bond to methyl group. So this is the tertiary amine. While for the methyl amine is nitrogen with three single bond, one of the bond is methyl group, the other two is hydrogen. So from here, we know that this is the primary amine. So if I label this as A and this as B, so uh, methyl amine B is more soluble in water because can form more hydrogen bond with water compared to trimethylamine and where I simplify using the symbol yeah okay when we want to discuss about the boiling point the factors that always we consider as usual first is the type of intermolecular force so amine is the compound which uh, can form all these intermolecular force hydrogen bond dipole dipole forces and also random forces so among these three hydrogen bond is the strongest so that's why we always just mention hydrogen the type of intermolecular force for amine is the hydrogen bond beside from the Intermolecular force, uh, the hydrogen bond, sometimes we also can relate with the molecular size. For example, if we have methanamine, which only have one carbon, compared with ethanamine, which have two carbon, so the bigger 
or the larger the molecular size, the stronger the intermolecular force, which is the part of the Van der Waals force. So the boiling point also will be higher. Sometimes we also can relate with the contact surface area. Generally, the bigger the molecular size means that their contact surface area is bigger. So again, they will have stronger intermolecular force and the boiling point will be higher as well. Okay, so now similar with the uh, solubility boiling point, we also need to compare the boiling point between, among the primary, secondary and tertiary amine. So based on here, primary amine is, has the highest boiling point. Okay, so in general, we were going to say that both primary and secondary amine can form hydrogen bond because they are hydrogen bonded to nitrogen. However, tertiary cannot form hydrogen bond because there is no hydrogen in the molecule. So there is no hydrogen bonded to nitrogen. So the first requirement cannot be fulfilled. So they cannot form hydrogen bond between the molecule. So in between primary and secondary, due to primary amine consists of more hydrogen, two hydrogen. While secondary only have one hydrogen, so we will say that primary able to form more hydrogen bond. Okay, so if uh, primary can form more hydrogen bond, definitely primary amine will go into has highest boiling point, followed by secondary amine, and the lowest boiling point will be the tertiary amine because cannot form hydrogen bond and only can form weak when there was force. Okay, let's continue with tutorial question 4b. Arrange the following compound in ascending order for boiling point. Explain. So if you still remember just how we say for the boiling point, the first thing we always identify the intermolecular force. So one propanol, hydrogen bond. Ethanoid, also hydrogen bond. Chloroethane is dipole-dipoposis. And one propanamine, also hydrogen bond. When this happens, so it is very clear that chloro, okay, so I label with A, B, C, D, R, will be easier for us to uh, write down. So definitely the chloro ethane is the one with the lowest boiling point because cannot only can form weak when the was false. Only can form weak when the was false. So C is the lowest. Okay. Only can form only can form weak when the was false. Wow. A B and D can form hydrogen bond. Okay. Hydrogen bond is stronger. Then when the was false. Okay, so this is the first segment. So now among all these three are the hydrogen bond. So what are the factors that will affect the hydrogen bond? Basically, is the number of hydrogen bond. First, number of hydrogen bond. Second is the electronegativity. So high, uh, one propanol OL can form one hydrogen bond. Ethanol acid because can form dimer, so uh, it will form two hydrogen bond. While propanamine also will form one hydrogen bond. So now we will comparing between one propanol and one propanamine. Both of them can form one hydrogen bond. So means that we're going to check the electronegativity. Okay, so oxy the for the one propanol the hydrogen is bonded to oxygen, while for the propanamine the hydrogen is bonded to nitrogen. So we need to compare the electronegativity between oxygen and nitrogen. So nitrogen is less electronegative, so that's why the 
strength of the hydrogen bond will be weaker. So come followed by B and then the one propanol will have higher boiling point. Okay, then now we will going to do the explanation. Both A and D form can form one hydrogen bond. Okay, however, D, which is the propanomin, has weaker hydrogen bond compared to A due to electron due to less elect due to nitrogen is less electronegative than oxygen okay so after this we are going to compare so we know the highest boiling point will be the ethanoid okay so then we will mention that ethanoid has highest boiling point because can form can form stable dimer which can which has more hydrogen bond compared to one propanol okay so i think we already finished in this video we focus on the boiling point and also solubility so in next uh, next video we are going to focus on basicity of amine